one of the closest big cities next to Sofia. Okay. Is the biggest mining city in the country. Yep. Uh, actually, the, this city managed to pay all reparations we accumulated after the First and Second World War. Oh, wow. Okay, so today we start the day in Skopje, which is in North Macedonia. So we drove from Bulgaria and it took us about two hours to get here. And this is probably a country that not many tourists uh, from Singapore come to. So we're quite lucky to come here on a day trip. Uh, got it on booking.com, pretty easy. And yep, our Bulgarian and North Macedonian guides is just behind us. Learned a lot about the history this morning on the way here uh, during the drive. And yep, right now we're just gonna explore the capital of North Macedonia, Skopje. So come along. a surprise for us that uh, Mother Teresa was actually baptized in Skopje in North Macedonia and we're right now in a museum that honors her and this museum is the exact chapel that she was baptized and uh, they have like her family photos here the original house that she was born in unfortunately it got destroyed in an earthquake and they have other interesting uh, artifacts like a birth certificate the official documents and uh, yeah wow never knew that so she was uh, from this part of the world and yep this is all the other photographs and some of the original artifacts that she owned a rosary and her veil probably some letters and and then uh, whatnot of course a little wax figure of her yeah Okay. So what, what was she? What, what, she what, what? She's the Albanian. She's the Albanian? Oh, I didn't, never knew that. So now we know. Did you know that? Yeah. Oh, you knew that? Yeah. Oh, he knew that. Generalknowledge.com <laughs> Right, so um, till date, uh, this place is still a functioning chapel, but it's really small. So it seats maybe about 50 people. And of course, uh, they have iconography of uh, both uh, Catholic and Mother Teresa and uh, it's quite lovely so yeah, I guess North Macedonia also has a lot of history that we can learn about and uh, yeah I'm bad with history in school but uh, I'm better with learning lessons from traveling like this how do you find it Ethan? Uh, quite interesting yeah yeah pretty interesting huh? all right let's see if we can get some souvenirs and support of the church that's how they actually maintain this place so yeah maybe go get some souvenirs from here even though typically we don't buy souvenirs but uh, i'll make an exception for this one this one's quite meaningful actually right yeah valuable and very fresh so are they so they are min they are minted here is it yes 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 okay yes and they're silver and just like how much are they Thousand two hundred dinners. That's around twenty, 20 euros. euros. Yes. Yeah. So this it's is quite quite affordable. Is it thirty? Yeah, yeah. It's mm. quite affordable. That's mm. what they say. Yes. Yeah. They look good. Also, small statues, for example. These are bronze. bronze okay. Yes. Let us know what's the special part about this ring down here and all the silver that's made here. Hi, we are the Mother Teresa Memorial House in a filigree shop. Uh, this is a ring made by hand from a Macedonian artist. It's called filigree, very old trade, made from a silverware, very tiny, tiny wear, and it's uh, uh, expressing actually the personal idea of the um, trader, of the um, artist. Yeah, and Silver, it's all one of a kind. Right? One of a kind, they're always one of a kind. It was a big part here. The only building that survived the earthquake. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's only one building? This here? one, yes. Ristycheva Palace. This it's one here? This one, yes. Okay. Before the earthquake, very old one. You see the details? Yep. Totally different. Yeah. Different what about the one beside it? Uh, reconstruct. 
Okay, so it's a replica? Replica. This is, okay. the, this is everything after earthquake. Okay. Only wow. the yellow building. Only one building. <laughs> in the central area. Okay. I'm talking in the square. Okay. In the but, square. Yeah, but we have some others in the second circle. Okay. Yes. Year, 500 years inside from the Turkish period mm -hmm. and the last one is the new theater okay. destroyed replica same one like before the earthquake okay. same place same architecture but from 2011 all right yes from this project talking about. oh wow So we are walking around the old bazaar in, uh, in North Macedonia and uh, this part, this side of the country is uh, has a high Muslim population and they are mostly Albanian. So as you can see behind me, there is a mosque and uh, the gentlemen are getting ready to go for their prayer. So a lot of shops here are also Muslim, so on Fridays uh, they have to close a couple of times a day to do their prayers. So one side of the city which we came from, the other end where Mother Teresa Chapels was, that's uh, primarily Christian. And on this end, you can see a lot of the influence from the times of the Ottoman Empire. So you get a lot of like Turkish influence uh, in this area of town. And it's a uh, yeah, really good uh, experience for us. Oh, because oh. they were rich people, they were shops here. Uh -huh. So the only hammam that was allowed. But oh. they all now... When you say hammam, the... it's a bath. mosque. Bath. Oh, baths. Bath. Okay. You see these uh, Little, chambers? Yep. That's a typical architecture for oh. the Turkish hammam. Okay. Public bath. And you're saying that uh, the Jewish people used it as yes, well? Yes, this one was allowed. Wow. So is it still an operating bathhouse? No, now no. you see it's like a gallery. Oh, okay, all it's a gallery hamams, now. Yes, all hammams are turned <laughs> okay. into the gallery. If you want to go There's inside... There's no more public baths here? No, no. no. Ah, okay. Because not enough people too expensive. Ah, it's not, no, it's not popular anymore? Not here, okay. only in Istanbul, not here. Ah, okay. This is also from 15th century. So the Macedonians until... don't like the, the baths? They do, but it's kind of too expensive. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> okay. I like it. So these are second hand? Yeah, something like okay. that. But very original. Yeah? Not not replica? No, no, no. Wow. Oh like these are original? Yes. Oh wow. Oh yeah, boy loves it, that's okay. Hello. From Yugoslavia Tito. Okay. Card first picture. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh wow. More Turkish like baklava and stuff. And this, I was wearing this. <laughs> what? <laughs> so your mom, your mom has a piece from her wedding? Yes. And it was a fashion in the 70s? Yeah, yeah very typical traditional ah. wear. And they were made in by themselves. Okay. They were buying these things. Yep. And they were making on the loom. Oh yes. On the loom. Oh wow. Do you still have the loom? I at have home? it at home. The loom, no. My okay. grandmother had it when she died. We sold it. I oh, didn't no. know that it would be so valuable. So we sold it. Oh no. <laughs> yes. uh, it was a very common during the Yugoslavia yep. to collect this kind of pins. Pins. Yeah. Yes. Everybody, I had it, my father had it. <laughs> Many old coins also. Yugoslavia. Okay, so now we feel like we are in uh, Turkey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. This is called Bezistan. Uh -huh. It was a covered market. On the plate, it's written uh, that it's constructed 14th century from Ishak Bek. Well, this is a, like a, 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 a Arabic. Arabic, a very Ottoman old language. Ah, yes. Okay, so it's not Arabic. Ottoman, they say. Ottoman. Ottoman. Okay. During not Turkish, not Arabic, something in between, mixed. Ah, maybe Persian. Maybe Persian. Yeah, very old. Because I tried a couple of times to ask people that ah, Jews no, were no, coming. No one knows. They cannot recognize ah. because it's kind of mixed. Right, right. David Star, because here oh, yeah. were Jewish people also having shops. Hmm. Officially, for okay. the century. So everywhere in the world you go, uh, the Muslim people sell gold. Yes. A lot of them sell gold. Yes. <laughs>
So this is the gold but street. But it's imported because Kopi ah, okay. has no okay. golden mines. Right, but mostly it's imported. So they import the gold nuggets and they make the jewelry here, or yeah. they import the jewelry as well. I think both ways. Both ways. Both ways. Okay. Yes. So it really looks like you are in a Turkish Grand Bazaar. Have you been there? Yes, to Turkey? yes, yes okay. I've been there. Yes. 20 years ago. 20 years. <laughs> I used to travel a lot. I've been ah. to Australia, to USA, Europe. But the last 10 years I'm in Skopje. Ah. I got married so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Century, mm -hmm. very sacred place for Macedonians okay. because here is buried the teacher, the God Sadelche, the Macedonian revolutionary guy that we saw the mm -hmm. monument in front of the bridge. Yep. So he died in this uprising, ah, okay. and his relics are here. It's oh, a big wow. sarcophag from marble, okay. and also the entrance of ten meters long, seven meters tall. It's inside. Crafted by hand. It's inside. Yes. Oh wow. Okay. It's open only one day in the month when is the, the name of the church, the Holy Saver. Oh. Otherwise, it's like a museum. Okay. Okay, we're done with the little tour How do you of like uh, Skopje. Yeah, we love it. I like it. I like the history. Yes. All the guides here are very good with history. Thank you. So we went for a tour yesterday in Bulgaria. Okay. Very good with history as well. So we learn more about history here in Balkan. In 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 Balkan area. Yeah than in the classroom at home <laughs> and we got lunch uh, for Macedonian food for under 10 euros yes. was it yeah. two meals two meals with two desserts two desserts yes for under 10, 10 euros yes. and it's probably can fit three people <laughs> or four people even they give a lot All right so we're gonna enjoy this and uh, we'll catch up on Facebook thank you very much <laughs> we are welcome for you for Macedonia yes for not Macedonia bye from Macedonia <laughs> Okay, so before we head off, we're gonna have some lunch. I got some Macedonian pasta and he's got some rice with meatballs. So just gonna enjoy this before we head off and we'll bring you guys along the way. Okay, so just to give you guys some context on the prices here in Skopje, uh, North Macedonia, there's a burger stand just here and I saw the patties, they were really thick and fat. Uh, the price for a set meal for burgers and fries and a uh, for, for and a bottle of Coca-Cola costs about 255 dinars, which is about maybe four to five euros. So in comparison to neighboring Bulgaria and other European cities, uh, this place actually offers quite a fair bit of value and it's very chill here. So if you are thinking of a holiday to just do nothing and just you know have coffee and food the whole day. Uh, this probably would be one of the stops that you want to make. Uh, totally underrated, uh, not spoken about in the tra travel and uh, tourism industry. I think everyone should come here and explore North Macedonia uh, uh, once in their life. Yeah, really cool place and uh, people are friendly and stuff. So yeah, you guys should really come here. 